marathon. It could be called a game of chess. But the decisions you made with the lineup uh, in this last game, setting up the importance of the match against Nashville, do you view that as almost now a must win because of the loss in the last game? Or how do you approach this Nashville game now? Does it put more pressure on you? Our desire is to compete well in all of the tournaments that we have. Of course, it's clear that we just started with the league and, and Conca Champion is going to find us in a decisive game that it doesn't allow for mistakes. So when we prepare the beginning of the uh the, the season we see that in the middle uh game with uh, whatever rival we had in coca champion was going to be a league game we were going to uh, bet on a, a more important change that's what we did we consider that uh, there is an error permitted uh, because just started the tournament and coca champion doesn't do it it's a short memory but at the same point you need to learn from what happened in the last game. How do you approach, I guess, coming off of a game like that and the importance of tomorrow? Yeah, you're right. Goalkeepers do need a short memory. You know, there's moments in the game where you need to make decisions, and sometimes those decisions can be hard. So I think as long as you learn from it, as long as you go back and work on it, then you have opportunities in the future to fix it. Buen día, Diego, para el semanario argentino Miami. Santo. Diego, uh, de, de Argentina. Diego, you said that tomorrow is a decisive game. Did it, tur did it uh, cross your head to play with uh, double five with Federico Redondo? Well, the other day we did it. They didn't behave exactly like a double five, and Federico played oh, like an eight. Their characteristics for them uh, at uh, times during the game can be seen as a double five. But in truth, it is something that we contemplated when we decided to hire Fede to have a se second uh, uh, forward with a good uh, foot that can start well and uh, they can do the things so it depends on the characteristics of each game we will see them one in front of the other on the side and in front and another game uh, sharing the midfield good afternoon Diego Murro for, uh, for Gerardo Tata can you hear me in the eight at this time uh, uh, about the passes, what kind of pass market do you have? Are you covered? Do you need still uh, positions? The right side is for is important. Uh, Matias Rojas and Cáceres. Uh, Cáceres has been considered. And Matias Rojas. What's the point? Uh, I'm saying that until April 15th, we are open to exchanges. When Andre left and Ian Fry being injured, we don't have a natural right side uh, player. So the priority is to get a player for that uh, place. And the names of the uh, players that you saw is something that we're thinking about. I don't know today how negotiations are going, but it is a priority for the team. And uh, about Matias, it has to do with a, a FIFA resolution about his situation with Corinthians. The definition or the result of that to see if at the end we can count on him to be with us. If FIFA ends up deciding that he is free, he will play with us at least till the end of the year. And if FIFA uh, delays or closes the period of exchanges, obviously we can't do it. Uh, Fiori with Inter Miami. Uh, 
I changed the question and I want to take you out of strategy for a little bit. When you say about the exchange uh, period that you can still hire players, when when you uh, just seen Chueco with the ball playing on the outside, I put it up on the uh, internet. All of the my followers want him to uh, do them and put him in uh, as a center. Social media is asking to sign him. Is that a possibility? Would you like to play with him in front? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, oh. no, 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 wow. he was, no, no, he was, no, 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 he's playing with, uh, with his feet. A ver, do we like to have, no. No. No, no. No, tampoco. No. No more word videos or whatever, no. Don Gerardo, buenos días. Gerardo, good afternoon, good morning. Jose Armando Rodriguez uh, from the Post. I'm talking about Benja and Franco Neri, we also saw him in this morning. And how close is he? What are the ingredients that you have for tomorrow for a final? Because we've seen them uh, fight difficult games. What is the ingredient that you see for the final tomorrow? Well, Franco. Uh, specifically with the release, he has a little bit of uh, soccer rhythm. Uh, he's training well with a group at this point. It would be, he would have a training or a friendly or a formal play, uh, training uh, only to look at the situation, which is what's missing. But the day to day, he's with a group and Benja comes with a recovery from the uh, from the surgery. He's getting better every day. He's still uh, missing a few weeks in the game. I don't think it's going to be different from others. It's going to be balanced with two very intense teams that each one is looking to cause damage in their way. If we want, we have a little advantage that of two goals that we've done uh, as a visitor, but there is a risk, of course, if you don't, if you stop uh, thinking that to protect those two goals is not to play the game, but we're going to go forward, we're going to be aggressive. Uh, we're not going to be a different, it's not going to be different from any other game that we've had. Good morning, uh, Tata. Uh, Leans.com USA. Uh, coach, you had three, two, you had four at the beginning of the league. What do you profile uh, the situation for tomorrow? How are you going to do? The same as always. Understanding that uh, playing with a line of four, we improvise with a side because we don't have one specifically uh, set for that position. To play with five, we have the players, we have the enough players for that. We have enough. We have to review a little bit the rival team and what they're going to do on the sides to see what's better for us. So we will evaluate between today and tomorrow what is our best option to play this final. Tata Ermat from 2DN, a, a question, Tata, how much does it change knowing that you have a tie as a visitor that you're going to put in the series? It, does that change your thinking in a way? Uh, it changed something for you uh, that the away rule gives uh, you guys an advantage for this game? Yeah, I think... The, the performance we had away will, will 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 help us, and I think as long as we come with the right attitude and the right mentality tomorrow night, that um, we'll put ourselves in a good position to advance. I believe that we have a style of play, and it's very difficult to modify just because we've had two goals as visitors. It is not a game that we won two to zero, we tied two to two. The best way to uh, damage the game is trying to speculate 
uh, because of those two goals as visitors. Uh, the best way to do it is to be aggressive in the game. Uh, that's what we naturally do. At the time, I liked because when there were a lot of uh, teams that speculated or whatever, I, today, I don't know, in general, uh, lines with different styles, you go seeking the game, you go to win the game. I believe that it is something that we can start to uh, put on the sides, which is happening to uh, in the world. Tomorrow, we're going to, is going to be favorable for us, but because of the characteristics of my game, we can play as a visitor or as a local, at home or visitors, they could win, but we always, but we always try to be aggressive and try to win the game. Um, well, great. My question is for you, Andrea. And it's important to tell you say, I wanted to ask you, Gregor left, DeAndre Yedlin left. We all know that they were big figures in the locker room. Who's the leader now in that locker room now that you don't have those players that were leaders for everyone? I, I understand Messi is uh, arguably the best player of all time, but does he have a relationship with every one of you? Does he stands up and speaks up when you're in the locker room in a situation like you were in against Montreal, for example, when you're losing? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. DeAndre and Greg were big figures for our culture and our team, and um, they did bring a lot of good energy and leadership to our team. But I think what they've given and what they've left is a a way of just being a human, a way of being a good teammate, a way of being a, a competitor that I think everybody has learned from is now I think there's a lot of players in the position to become leaders and who are leaders and who lead in different ways. Of course, we have a lot of experience in our locker room from Messi to Boozy, Jordy, Julian, myself, other players who have some experience. And I think that we all lead in different ways. So of course, there may be players who are more vocal or who are more leading by example, but I think we all kind of understand what our mission is. And I think that's the most important thing. Okay, thanks. We'll go to Javier Rodriguez online. Your line is open. Go ahead with your question. Buenos días, Professor Martino. Buenos días, Dre. Hey, good morning, Dre. Good morning, Coach Martino. You have a disadvantage, two to two. And uh, for a local game, is it a team with a lot of intensity? How do you counterattack in tactics uh, against a team that plays very hard? We saw it in the last game, and you've seen them as players. How do you uh, struggle against that, uh, knowing that Nashville is going to have to take a lot of initiative in that game also? Well, you see, basically, making the ball move quickly, being precise, not giving them a lot of uh, chances, and not having a loss, uh, a mistake that causes the rival to come out fast. I believe that that is going to be the most important uh, factors for the game for tomorrow. In her. Buenos dias, Tata. Uh, good hey, morning, Tata. Uh, good, good to talk Hello, Drake. Oh, let, let me get rid of this. Um, Drake, I, I had a question for you on, on the back line. I mean, five goals in the past couple of games. Uh, how, how are you communicating with uh, that back line to be able to organize things? And, and where can you find room for improvement? Yeah, that's a great question. I think communication is probably one of the biggest assets to a defense, you know, how we're able to communicate, how we're able to cover spaces to um, to account for all the runners and the different attacks. I think part of it takes time. I think part of it just, again, learning from our mistakes and improving them in like the next games. I think, you know, just like the fundamentals of being aggressive, being intense, of being aware, you know, always being kind of in like the same, on like the same page, I think is a big part of it. And um, you know, going forward, we're always looking to improve all aspects of our game. But of course, as a goalkeeper and as a defense, we want to limit as many goals as possible and go for those clean sheets. Okay, we'll finish where we started here with Michelle. I want to ask uh, both. Say, say, say. Uh, 
Palo dos, uh, what can you do to improve the set piece defense? Because the the two two goals in the last game were on set pieces. What if, what can you guys do better to improve? Palo dos, que, que pueden, ya entiendes. De los set piece, la defensa de los la... set Muchas gracias. Uh, I think it's just being do better in this. Having the mentality to go and win the ball, having the mentality to, to win your space. You know, we're in a zone, so the ball goes in your zone, just being aggressive and going to uh, attack the ball. And um, again, it's, you know, set pieces can decide whether you win a game or lose a game. So they're very important and it's something that can be the difference maker in big games. So uh, we're, we're learning how to, you know, defend better in set plays and also I think just having having the right mentality during those plays to be more focused and to be more aware of where the the runners are coming, what zones they're running into. So yeah. Fundamentalmente, ser mucho más contundente. Basically, to be more aggressive when we more dominant when we defend, and those people who have the personal mark they have to be aggressive. They have to be. Uh, dominant, they have to find the ball at the highest point or the uh, point most forward, uh, not having impact or running uh, to find the ball easily. Uh, I think that the ball is stopped ball against is basically is the, uh, the uh, permit desire that the rival doesn't cause damage. Recording stopped.